I'm Sarah and welcome back to my channel Rosie Home. I share things all about motherhood, homemaking, lifestyle, fashion and travel so if you enjoy those kind of things please do subscribe to my channel. Today I am joining in with a Halloween haul challenge. So myself and a few of my friends have all joined together in this collaboration and we are each going to a different high street store to find out what the best Halloween bargains are. So we each have a different high street store. I have chosen the co-op, which is not your usual Halloween store. I do agree. It's not your Poundland or your Wilco's, but there are some really nice Halloween bits in there. And when I popped in, I couldn't resist them. So I picked them up. And these are things that are a little bit different and what you won't see everywhere else. So I think my haul is the best and that these bargains are a little bit special. So the challenge was to get as much as we could for under £20. I also needed some bits for my Halloween party that I'm planning on throwing, so I got a lot of party decor items. So if you want to see all the bits that I picked up, keep watching. So the first thing I got was some spider web. Everyone needs a spider's web. This was £1 and you get four spiders included in that and I got the traditional white spider web. The next item I picked up was this trick or treat torch. Now I had one of these from Poundland, I think it was last year, so that was only a pound. This in the co-op was £1.50, so it's slightly more. Most of the other things from the co-op were a pound, but this was actually £1.50, which is a bit of a shame, really. But Rosalie absolutely loved playing with the one that she had last year, so I knew I had to get her another one. So when I saw it, I knew I had to get her another one. It has a little you put different caps on the end and then it projects a Halloween picture onto the wall, and she really loved it. It's such a good idea for the kids to take out when they go trick-or-treating. And yeah, a really lovely little gift. We're gonna be throwing a little Halloween party, so I think what I might do is get a few of those to give out to the guests when they go out trick-or-treating. The next thing I got was something that I think is so cool. It is glow-in-the-dark pumpkin teeth. I mean, how cool are they? You literally, it comes, these are what the teeth look like, and you stick them into your pumpkin, so your pumpkin has teeth. I just think that's hilarious. So funny, and the kids will love putting those into our pumpkin. These were two pound, so slightly more than your average price Halloween item, but I think these are a little bit special and say so they're worth it. The next thing I got was some of these honeycomb decorations. Now, I really love these. I think they are really cute. I just think they seem a bit nicer than your average Halloween decoration. They're a bit posher, dare I say it, classier. Is there anything classy about Halloween? You know I love Halloween, guys, but I don't know, I just think they look a bit cuter. I didn't want anything too scary because obviously Maeve's only one and a half. So we only we don't like anything too scary at Halloween. And I thought these were really nice and I'm looking forward to putting these up in my house. These honeycomb decorations were three pounds and that works out like a pound each for each decoration, which I didn't think was too bad because this is a pack of three. The next item I got were these window clings. Obviously I have two children so I had to get two packs, um, they're the same designs, there's like a pink one, an orange pumpkin, a ghost, a mummy and a Frankenstein um, and you just stick these onto the window, I've got some French windows in my house so the girls would like sticking these on there, these were one pound each, I've got some Halloween balloons because you always need pipe balloons if you're having a party, so these are orange and black to match our theme. I saw these plates in the co-op and I just really like the design, I think they are quite simple, they're not like characters, it's just pumpkins, I think they're quite nice really. <laughs> I wanted to say elegant again, but nothing is really elegant about Halloween. But I don't know, I just seem think they're a bit more, I don't know, trendier? Trendy is not really the right word. I just like them, basically. Um, so I got a lot of things in this range. I got two packs of party plates. These were £1 each for the kids to have their food off of. I got two packs of napkins. There is 16 napkins in each pack. Again, these were a pound each. And I got a pack of cups. So these are black with the orange pumpkins around the outside. In this pack are eight paper cups and these again were one pound. Which brings me on to the last item, the piece de resistance. Dun dun dun! This jug. When I saw this, I just couldn't resist. It's like a skull. It looks like crystal. This was four pounds, so it's slightly more expensive, but I think it's worth it. It's really big and I'm gonna put some like black currant in there, pretend it's blood for the kids to drink. I just think that's a really cool jug to use at the party. 
So that is all the things I picked up in the co-op ahead of my Halloween party. All of those Halloween items came to a grand total of £19.50, so it was under the £20 budget. If you need to buy any Halloween bits, don't forget to check out my friend's other videos. So many vloggers are doing this. My friend Hayley, my friend Lorraine, my friend Amy, they've all picked different shops. So there's someone's doing a Poundland haul, someone is doing a Wilkinson's haul, I believe, someone else is doing an Asda haul. All the best, High Street shops we've got you covered so we can show you all the best bits from them so you will know where to get the best things for this halloween i hope you've enjoyed seeing the bits that i picked up from the co-op as i said it's a dark horse i think they have such a lot of nice stuff in there i'm really pleased with all the bits that i picked up and i hope you like seeing what i got too if you did enjoy it then please do subscribe to my channel thank you for watching and i will see you in my next video